the Gilgut's pool. Young man, laughed the farmer, you're such a fool. You'll never catch fish in McGillagot's pool. The pool is too small, and you might as well know it. When people have junk, here's the place that they throw it. You might catch a boot, or you might catch a can. You might catch a bottle. But listen, young man, if you sat here fifty years with your worms and your wishes, you'd grow a long beard long before you'd catch fishes. Hmm, answered Marco. It may be you're right. I've been here three hours without one single bite. There might be no fish, but again, well, there might. Because you never can tell what goes on down below. This pool might be bigger than you and I know. This might be a pool like I've read of in books, connected to one of those underground brooks, an underground river that starts here and flows right under the pasture, and then, well, who knows? It might go along down where no one can see. Right under State Highway 203, right under the wagons, right under the toes of Mrs. Umbrose, who's hanging out clothes. It might keep on flowing, perhaps, who can tell? Right under the people in Sneedon's hotel, right under the grass where they're playing croquet, then under the mountains and far, far away. This might be a river, now mightn't it be, connecting McGillagot's pool to the sea. Then some fish might be swimming toward me, if such a thing could be then certainly would be. Some very smart fellow might point out the way to the place where I'm fishing, and that's why I say if I wait long enough, if I'm patient and cool, who knows what I'll catch in McGillagot's pool. I might catch a thin fish, I might catch a stout fish, I might catch a short or a long, long drawn-out fish. Any kind, any shape, any colour or size. I might catch some fish that would open your eyes, I won't be surprised if a dogfish appears, complete with a collar and long floppy ears. Woofing along and perhaps he might chase a whole lot of catfish right straight to this place. I might catch a fish with a pinwheel-like tail. I might catch a fish who has fins like a snail. I might catch some young fish, some high-jumping friskers. I might catch an old one with long flowing whiskers. I might catch a fish with a long curly nose. I might catch a fish like a rooster that crows. I might catch a fish with a checkerboard belly. Or even a fish made of strawberry jelly. I might catch a seahorse, now mightn't I now. I might catch a fish who is partly a cow. Some fish from the tropics all sunburned and hot. Might decide to swim up. Well, they might, might they not? Racing up north for a chance to get cool. Full steam ahead for McGillagot's pool. Some Eskimo fish from beyond Hudson Bay might decide to swim down, might be headed this way. But it's a pretty long trip. They might, and they may. I might catch an eel. Well, I might. It depends. A long twisting eel with a lot of strange bends, and oddly enough with a head on both ends. One doesn't catch this kind of fish as a rule, but the chances are fine in McGillagot's pool. I might catch a fish with a terrible grouch, or an Australian fish with a kangaroo's pouch. Who wants to catch small ones like mackerel or trout? Say, I'll catch a sawfish with such a long snout that he needs an assistant to help him about. If I wait long enough, if I'm patient and cool, who knows what I'll catch in McGillagot's pool? Some rough-neck old lobster, all gristle and muscle, might grab at my bait. Then wouldn't I have a tussle? To land one so tough might take two or three hours. But the next might be easy. I might catch some sort of fast-moving bloke who zips through the waves with an overarm stroke. I might and I may, and that's really no joke. A fish even faster. A fish, if you please, who slides down the sides of strange islands on skis. He might ski on over and pay me a visit. That's not impossible, really, now is it? Some circus fish. Fish from an acrobat school might stage a big show in McGillagot's pool. Or I might catch a fish from a stranger place yet, from the world's highest river in far-off Tibet where the falls are so deep that it's dangerous to ride them. So the fish put on chutes, and they float down beside them. From the world's deepest ocean, from way down below, from down in the mud where the deep rivers go, 
from down in the mire and the muck and the murk, I might catch some fish who are all going gluck. Whales. I'll catch whales. Yes, a whole herd of whales, all spouting their spouts and all thrashing their tails. I'll catch fifty whales, then I'll stop for the day, because there's nothing that's bigger than whales, so they say. Still, of course, it might be that there is something bigger, some sort of kind of thingamajigger. A fish that's so big, if you know what I mean, that he makes a whale look like a tiny sardine. Oh, the sea is so full of a number of fish. If a fellow is patient, he might get his wish. And that's why I think that I'm not such a fool when I sit here and fish in McGillagot's pool.